Today we're making pizza, but not the regular kind. Instead of using traditional crust, I'm going to show you how to turn bell peppers into the base for sauce, cheese, and your favorite pizza topping. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Laura, and I'm excited to show you how to make these quick and easy pizzas. These aren't your standard crusts, though. We're skipping the dough and turning these bell peppers into our pizza crusts. They are so fun to make, and each member of your family can make a personal pizza with their own favorite toppings. And using bell peppers as the base helps everyone add a few extra veggies to their day. Let's get going and preheat our oven to 350 degrees. That way, the oven will be nice and hot by the time we're done assembling the pizzas. For a pizza crust, we're using a variety of bell peppers and any color will do, so make sure to select bigger peppers so you have a nice, large surface area for your pizza. All you have to do is stand each bell pepper on its base, hold on to the stem, and cut around the seeds to create flat slices. Lay the pepper slices skin side down on a parchment or silicone mat lined baking sheet. Using these as the base, let's top each pepper with a little tomato sauce, just like this. I don't know about you, but one of my favorite things about pizza, it's the cheese. So let's sprinkle some mozzarella cheese over the top, and for a little extra flavor, let's add a little sprinkling of Italian seasoning. Now, if you crush the dry herbs like this, it'll release a little bit of extra aroma, and it'll smell great. These pizzas can go in the oven as they are, or you can add your favorite toppings next. I'm going to top mine with a little pepperoni and black olives. Let's put these into our preheated oven and bake until the cheese is melted for about 10 to 12 minutes. I wish you could smell these little guys. You'll want to eat these warm, and guess what? Leftovers make a terrific school lunch, and there's no need to warm up this pizza. For the recipe, click on the link below this video. For more recipes like this one, browse our YouTube channel and subscribe. See you next time.